really gets me up in the morning. Writing and debugging USB drivers for common microcontrollers. It just really warms my soul to know I'm going to get up, go to work, and struggle through reinventing the exact same wheel that literally hundreds, if not thousands, of other engineers clearly already got spinning. Said no one ever. We don't have time for that way of thinking anymore. Modularity is the name of the game now. We want to be able to keep USB connectivity in the next generation of a product without having to redo all the drivers and low-level stuff just because we upgraded cores. That really puts a damper on the whole agile development thing we all go for, doesn't it? We don't even think about products in the same way that we used to. It makes so much more sense now to start at the API level, which is exactly what the Renaissance Synergy platform from Renaissance is all about. It's kind of a game changer. It's not just software. It's not just the hardware. It's a whole integrated platform of ARM-based MCUs like these that play nice with the huge software platform they've created to make embedded development so much easier. There are four series of MCUs available right now. This little guy is the S1, and it is the lowest end, super low power consumption. This is the highest end S7, wicked fast processor, lots of memory, secure connectivity. The whole ecosystem is geared at the IoT market, so you will see an emphasis on connectivity, standard interfaces, and security throughout. All of these microcontrollers are pin-to-pin -pin compatible, so even though they come in different package sizes based on what's in there, the pinouts are all the same for the same functionality. Of course, they all play nice with the extensive libraries that Renaissance has given us in the Synergy development platform. That really, to me, is what makes Synergy shine. Renaissance has taken the user interface, MCU functions, communication stacks, RTOS, middleware, all of that jazz, and made it all accessible through the API. As in, you no longer have to be an expert in the hardware to develop quickly and accurately in the software. There are a couple different ways to interact with this platform. There's a version of IAR that is already fully integrated with Synergy. If you're already an IAR user, you definitely want to start there. It'll feel nice and familiar for you. It lets you use all the modules, like USB connectivity, Ethernet, some other things, and you can see all the source code that's being generated. You just don't have to actually write any of it. Now, you're not off the hook. To make a solid product, you're still going to have to write code, make sure that the product does what you need it to do on that microcontroller. But now you can build with the proper building blocks right off the bat rather than having to go make your own crumbly mud blocks of logic before you can even start building. So I would definitely suggest you go test it out at renaissancesynergy.com. There's no upfront cost, and you can get started working with qualified commercial grade software with a common API on a scalable core. You're going to have access to a great support team. They can help you with all sorts of things from accessing add-in software to the click-through licensing feature. Renaissance just may change the way you think about embedded development.